Hello, ghosty. Are you going to be in the video today, are you? All right. Okay, good girl. Okay, everybody, we're back to doing some bottle kill videos, and today's one is going to be a uh, the Remnant. Now, if you don't know the history of this, I'm not going to name the brand itself that is behind this, but there is a bit of a story uh, in this one here. Most people will understand. Um, if you don't, I really don't want to try and give them too much credit. Or general, the old gentleman who did it, I don't want to give too much credit to. But basically, there was a barrel scheme that went pear-shaped. Um, a lot of investors lost a lot of money. Um, and Peter and his son from Belgrove actually ended up buying a lot of the old barrels. Um, and I don't know the full story, so hopefully we can get a little bit more information at some stage. Um, but I believe they're actually giving back to some of the investors, at least giving them some of their whiskey, at least anyway, from, um, from the system. So really interesting situation, probably the first one in, uh, Australia. Um, unfortunately, probably not the last situation where people are going to get money embezzled and all that kind of stuff. But Hey, we're not here to worry about what's happened. We're worried about what's happening. The brand has been owned by taken over by someone else and they produce some amazing whiskey before and also after this event. So as I said, I'm going to start going through a few of my, uh, bottles that I've got very much nothing left. Um, which is one of these ones. So as I mentioned, Peter from Belgrove, uh, has taken over a lot of the barrels. Now we were down there four or five months ago, and I can tell you there are a ton of barrels of whiskey sitting there ready to be barreled at some stage. Um, and knowing the old liquid was one of my first Australian um, whiskies, it's gonna be amazing, like it always is. So this one here, I'm gonna tell you straight away, this is actually a staple in my top bar or my bar that always uh, has you know the bottle cups open this is an absolutely beautiful bottle so this is around 180 to 200 dollars depending on where you get it from it's 45 percent and it is 700 mil so all you people complaining about 500 mil bottles this one is a 700 mil so it's a everyday drinker for me um so to give you a bit of information the old saying has it has it that patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel however we are led to believe retracted the scoundrel is in, is actually in Queensland. In any case, the bird has flown to be pursued relentlessly, a bit slowly by the relevant authorities. Retracted is not off the endangered list yet. What I mean by retracted is this. There you go. You can see all that. Um, happily, we can report a large number of the retracted barrel investors have now received at least some of the original investment back, along with a couple of bottles of free scoundrel. So again, that is Peter. So good on you, mate. In excess of retracted, a fine Tasmanian single malt rests safely in their bond store where they will receive care and attention they deserve. After a careful selection process, they will be released in small batches uh, each, each season over the next few years. Fly by night, our second release sets the standard for our future offerings. We think that is a blank uh, belter and we trust you will too. So They've done a fair few of these releases now. Um, they're at the Black Spot releases now. I've got a couple of them. Um, and I've got a fair few up the top as well. Now, as I said, we were down there at Belgrove. We actually bought a few different bottles. So let's actually get into it because this is what we're trying to do. And if you're looking for an Australian whiskey, um, single malt that you want as an everyday drinker, but you don't want to spend $500 on something like this, this is going to be one of those um, one of those uh, bottles, I believe. Now it is ex bourbon and a pair of cask. You do get a little bit of that orange note on the nose and you definitely get a little bit of that pair of cask on there. Now, one of the things I love about this one is that you don't need much time in the glass to sit there and try and, you know, air it out. You can get straight into this bottle as soon as it opens and it doesn't give you that um, alcohol burn, the mouth sweats, if, the, if that's what we call them, um, and that real kind of, oh, shivers, hang on a second, I might have to drop some water. And this is a very well-balanced single malt. It's said, it's, it's a fantastic one that I have all the time um, for me. Now, tasting though. That orange comes through in a different kind of way and I'm just trying to figure out what it is. I've seen someone say or heard someone talk about that it's like a chocolate orange. I guess it probably is. It's a little bit earthy, more orange. So I guess maybe that's the chocolate coming through. 
Um, but again, it's quite good. What I love about this one as well is the finish is, it finishes long enough though, it lingers long enough in your mouth that you don't have to worry about, you know, um, how do I say, you can enjoy it by sitting back, but it also doesn't linger that long that you kind of have to only, or you can really only drink one, you know, in an hour kind of thing. You can go back and really enjoy it more. Now I like to have a couple of these in an hour. Um, I know some people that will literally sit there with one glass in an hour and you be however you want to be with your drinking, but I really like to have, you know, a fresh glass and continue drinking. I guess that's the alcohol or alcoholism coming out from it. But look, the guys are doing some amazing stuff at Bell Grove. Um, if this is their side business, I guess, or their side company that I've got, The Remnant, go and check them out because this stuff is amazing. And as I said, they have released a whole heap of other ones. Um, and there are some independent businesses actually doing. So the Whiskey List have done some independent bottling with them or some, some bottling with them you could only buy through that. Um, so always check those kind of signups as well to double check and see what else there is. But this, again, to the old original whiskey that I fell in love with, you can't get much better than this.